opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Sean, you've been part of a Mumbai dugout, possibly in happier times, but 0-8 mm. for that franchise who have given so much to this game, it'll be it'll be heart wrenching. Yeah, I mean, Mumbai has been probably the most feared franchise of all the years. You know, when you come up against them, you know what to expect. So, this is immensely disappointing for them. Uh, you know, I can't imagine um, how they're trying to describe it or or the emotion that's going through that squad at the moment. Because, I mean, there's not one person. You cannot find me one person that would have bet on Mumbai being north from eight. Um, I don't care who says they would. They thought it might happen. It was n- impossible. No one in the world would have said to you that they're going to do it. And I think just the manner that they've gone down, you know, you, you talk about the chase. Um, I thought they were on target, you know, they were going great guns there with Rowett and and it wasn't like there was great deliveries. Um, you know, nothing taken away from luck. No, I thought their, their performance with the ball was really good. That They just did the basics right. But there wasn't a Jaffa. There wasn't one that turned. There wasn't an unplayable swinging delivery or anything along that. It was just four wickets that were kind of donated to them. And then the way Lucknow closed out was simply brilliant. Um, you know, as commentators in, in, in the com box, you, you try and keep things exciting and think that they can maybe get to the end. But at no stage did Mumbai in the last three or four overs give them any hope or anything for the commentators to latch on to, to try and sell the victory um, that could be. Uh, so they had, that closeout was brilliant. And yeah, they must take full credit because I don't think, I mean, it was a bit of an iffy surface. I don't think it was coming on like we've seen at the one kitty. But I don't think 168 was out of reach. And how much we built up the fact that um, you know, almost the stars were almost aligning to get that streak over. You've got to have it on Sachin's birthday. They're back at the Wankhede after May 2019. It's the actual home for the Mumbai Indians. And I think when the stars align and then the stars suddenly part, Lisa, that's got to hurt even more. Yeah, this one is going to hurt. You're right. Everything was was building up to this moment to potentially turn it around. I mean, even my pillow is kind of slumped like Mumbai Indian, so I just prop it up there. I just, I, I'm just <laughs> surprised, given historically how good Mumbai have been. I know there's a huge change in personnel, but there's still there's still some key ingredients there. Rohit Sharma. Pollard, Surya Kumar, Yadav, and obviously the coaching staff. So, yeah, really disappointing for them. They've got to just park it, don't they? Um, the, the, uh, what they can do now is whilst they're, they're mathematically out of the equation, now they can play hopefully with some freedom, but also ruin the party for a lot of other franchises. Yeah, I mean, that was really how we wanted to round off this. Um, you know, every time you say, where do Mumbai go from here? You look at the schedule and say, well, they go to the DY party next against Rajasthan. But the fact is, they've got to find something to give themselves, their fans, and even the tournament till the rest of the season, Sean. Yeah, I think you don't get to this level as a cricketer if you don't have pride of performance in your own personal performance. So, I mean, individuals will be disappointed with how they've gone um, team-wise. You know, the management will have been trying just as hard as any other year, um, but they haven't managed to get anything going right. And and that's the big surprise. I mean, in saying that, I was a little bit surprised, you know, once all the squads were finalized after the auction, you have a look down that list. And I don't know, as a Mumbai unit, you, you tend to want to suggest that there should be superstars in the overseas environment. Um, and I was, I was a bit surprised by, by some of the picks and some of those guys haven't come forward. I mean, Brevis would have been probably the last of the internationals that I thought would have even got a game. Um, mm-hmm. Never mind him being one of the better of the performers. So it was a bit of a surprise, the auction selection, um, but nothing, absolutely nothing could have uh, prepared me for, for North from eight. So as I say, it's a proud, proud franchise. They're very proud individual cricketers. Um, and that's all that's to be gained going forward. And I'm sure we'll see some fireworks. Uh, I, I don't understand why they wouldn't have played with freedom anyway. They, they almost had nothing to lose. They had to come and be as positive as they could. But uh, this has got to hurt. And at some stage, uh, performances will start to kick in. And since uh, since Sean did make a point about the auction, Lisa, if you just think back on it and ponder for a moment, 
the two most the two biggest talking points monetary wise and talking point wise were Jofra Archer and Tim David one was never going to play this season and one's hardly played this season yeah they they tried Tim David at the start he didn't quite fire and then it's as we've seen many a time in the IPL it's about the balance of your four internationals and they just felt that they weren't getting enough and they were missing in obviously no wickets kind of drying up for Bumra um, they needed to search and probably build up their stocks there so that's that's the balance of IPL and the four overseas but yeah, a lot of um, a lot of money spent on on two players, one that we're not going to see, and and I I do hope Tim but Tim David gets another opportunity. I mean, there was talks about him coming in for Pollard potentially. Pollard did the job with the ball tonight, just unfortunately, just couldn't get going, could not get going at all. And um, I'm not going to say it cost them because I mean you had players that got starts and didn't go on with it, but. I guess we expect a lot from him because he's he's got Mumbai over the lines many a time before.